Hi, welcome back or welcome. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe. This video is not sponsored and I'll only use and recommend my favorite products which I use and like the most. Today is Gudi Padwa in Konkani. It is a springtime festival that marks the traditional new year for Marathi and Konkani Hindus. Being a Gujarati and married to Marathi, I always wanted to create this look. I enjoyed a lot creating this look and I hope you will like it too. So without a further ado, let's get started. I have prepped my skin with the Embryolisse cream and now I'm using Mawala lip balm. Next I'll use Anastasia brow pomade, brow vase in shade medium brown and Anastasia brow brush to fill in sparse areas of my eyebrow. First I'll comb my eyebrow just to put that hair in the same direction. I have very thin and uneven eyebrows, so I also like to draw thin hair strokes to fill in my eyebrow, uh, just to make it look fuller and thicker. So I always uh, use brow pomade and then brow vase and then I draw hair, hair like a strokes and then once I'm all set with eyebrow, uh, when I feel that it's absolutely everything is done, then I apply NYX Brow Gel Mascara in shade Espresso just to set my eyebrow and just to make it last longer the way I have created, the way I have prepared it for a day. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is NYX Brow Gel Mascara in a shade Espresso. When I'm all set and done with eyebrow, I'll carve my eyebrow with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Creamy Beige with a flat brush. This one is a Stila number 13, I think. Yeah, uh, this is very thin uh, flat brush. I really like to use it to carve my eyebrows. Uh, it always gives me precise line. So without messing it up, I can finish my uh, eyebrow carving job quickly. So I always use this brush. Now, now when we are all set with eyebrow, I'll pram my eyelid with the P. Louise base number three. And uh, once I'm done prepping my eyelid, I'm going to use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Palettes in Naked Hit and in Ultimate Basics. So in the crease, I'm going to use Naked Heat Shade Hey Devil. So I'll pack up the shade Hey Devil is a dark shade uh, with a small fluffy brush and once I'm happy with the packing colors, I always uh, blend edges with a clean fluffy brush and uh, just to make sure that we don't get any harsh lines when we put the another eyeshadow on top. So if you want your eyeshadow blending look seamless without any harsh lines, Always make sure that when you apply one eyeshadow, take the clean fluffy brush and smudge the edges. Just clean the edges. Here I am just blending my edges before I apply a second shade to avoid getting any harsh lines. 
Now I'm using my second shade from Urban Decay Ultimate Basics. Shade is Lethal and on the outer corner I'm going to use Extra Bitter. Once I'm packing this color, again I'll take a big clean fluffy brush and I'll blend the edges. Once I'm happy with the all blending, here we go. Then only we don't get any harsh lines. Now I'm happy with my blending so I'll pack my outer corner with the shade Ashes from Naked Hit. Now I want to carve my eyelid but before I do that I'll clean my eyelid to remove the excess eyeshadow. I don't want this eyeshadow to get mixed with the base which I'm going to apply on my eyelid. So I'll remove this first and then I'm going to carve, uh, I'm going to cut the crease with the two bases today. One is P. Louise Extra F, that is the name, it's like a gold gel sort of base. And the second one is P. Louise base number one. Now if you don't have the glitter base, don't worry, just apply any eyeshadow base, cut your crease and then dab the pigment on top. So you will get the same effect. You don't have to have all the products which I'm using here. You, there are so many alternatives. So don't worry, just be creative. Now this is the second uh, base, which is P. Lewis base number one. But I must say, I always, um, P. Lewis bases are so, so good. Uh, I always make sure that I have enough in a stock. Now I'm using Certify eyeshadow palette. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette. It has a greens, uh, pinks, oranges, blue. It's nice eyeshadow palette. Now here I'm packing the shade Paranormal from eyeshadow palette Certify. And uh, after that I'm going to pack dark green shade and it's called Dark Side. Once I'm happy with eyeshadow, I'm, prime, I'm going to prime my skin with the Pore Professional from Benefit and then I'll color, color correct with Urban Decay Color Corrector in shade Deep Peach. Then I'll blend the color correcting with a damp sponge and once I'm done with the blending, I'll apply Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder to set the to avoid mixing my color corrector into foundation. So here I'm using the loose translucent powder. Now I'm using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter shade 290 foundation and I have added a couple of drops uh, Zoeva candlelight highlighter. When you mix that highlighter into any, any foundation, it gives really nice effect. I really like that effect on my skin. So again I'll blend this uh, foundation into my skin with a damp beauty sponge and then I'll apply a concealer Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser, Instant Anti-Age Eraser in shade Ivory. This is like 3-4 shade lighter than my skin tone but I decided to use it so I can use on high point of my face as well as concealer so when I uh, use a bronzer I'll get nice contouring effect so I don't have to so I don't have to do any more extra steps you know it's concealer as well as highlighter as well as contouring I'll get everything all in one go so yeah it looks like a ghost it looks like a, it, it looks very light but don't worry uh, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in shade Medium will make this look like my skin. So just bear with me, everything will fall in place. Now I'm using uh, same eyeshadow which I used in my crease. I'm using those eyeshadows on my lower lash line. And now I'm using Kajal Pencil. I always use Kajal Pencil. I, Without that, I don't think, I don't feel my eye, eye makeup is complete. Now I'm using uh, 
Fenty Beauty highlighter in Hustla Baby uh, in inner corner. I'm going to use eyeliner uh, Bobbi Brown shade Black Ink and Bobbi Brown Precise eyeliner brush to uh, to do my eyeliner and I, I really really like this combo it's beautiful very very nice very good application this brush is worth every single penny I'm telling you it's really nice brush it is now I'm using Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and then I'm going to use Morphe Lashes in Secretive now I'm using Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in shade Wicked So this is shade Wicked. Now I'll do my hairstyle. I'll do my hairdo and then I'm back with my hairstyle. Now I'm using my Hula bronzer, thank God. I was looking like a ghost without a bronzer. Uh, now I'm getting good definition, uh, good contouring. I feel without good bronzer, makeup is not complete. Uh, see, now my face has got some sort of depth and definition. <laughs> I, when I was just looking at it, I was like, oh my god, I'm looking like a ghost without a bronzer. But now I'm using Natasha Denona Glow Gold Highlighter. This is another favorite. I also use this as eyeshadow sometimes. I like gold, so you can imagine I use gold as a highlighter. I use gold as eyeshadow. You will get to see me using gold and glitter all the time. This is also one of my favorite. Uh, I like Natasha Denona uh, makeup products. Their eyeshadows are also very good. Uh, after this, I'm going to use Slick uh, Blusher in shade Rose Gold. And uh, here we go. And I'm using a Bobbi Brown Blusher Brush. I have so many different brushes but I always reach out for this one it's it's perfect brush it's it picks up good amount uh, perfect amount of blusher all the time now today when I decided to do Maharashtrian look I did not have that uh, moon bindi half moon bindi so I decided to use this and uh, I'm going to draw a little bit bindi underneath let's see how it comes out here we go uh, I'm happy with my bindi Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, all of you, take care. Bye-bye.